guys you are welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for always having you here please do not forget to hit the like button and also subscribe thank you very much once again god bless you the christian association of nigeria can calls for removal of sterling bank ceo over ungodly easter advert an advert by the bank with the copy test like Agege Bread, he rose again, had attracted the outrage of Nigerians who queried the rationale behind the advert. How can you be comparing Jesus Christ with Agege Bread, Nigerians have asked. The Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, has reacted to an Easter advert by Sterling Bank PLC to his Christian customers, an advert by the bank with the copy tests like Agege Bread, he rose again, had attracted the outrage of Nigerians who queried the rationale behind the adverts. In reaction to the advert, the Christian body in a statement by its National Publicity Secretary, Joseph Bade Damirola, called for the removal of the CEO of the bank. Abubakar Suleiman for expressing hostility and hatred of the Christian faith. The statement reads, The attention of the leadership of the Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, has been drawn to an ungodly, wicked, insensitive, and deliberately provocative advertisement of the Sterling Bank comparing the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ to Agege bread amid the Easter celebration. In case the management of the Sterling Bank is not aware, the resurrection of Jesus Christ witnesses to the imminent power of God Himself. To believe in the resurrection is to believe in God. If God exists, and if He created the universe and has power over it, then He has power to rise to raise the dead. If he does not have such power, he is not worthy of our faith and worship. Only he who created life can resurrect it again after death. Only he can revise the mystery that is death itself. And only he can remove the sting and gain the victory over the grave. First Corinthians 15, chapter 54 to 55. In resurrecting Jesus from the grave, God reminds us of his absolute sovereignty over life and death. The purported apology did not come from a pertinent heart. How can someone in his right mind describe the rising? Christ as a loaf of bread that is insulting, ridiculous, and a mockery of Jesus Christ. We advise Christians to be very wary of the banks and other financial institutions they are patronizing. We learn that their advertising practitioners council of Nigeria has reportedly intervened in the matter with a view to impose some sanctions against Sterling Bank, the Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, is waiting for the decision of the organization. However, in the interim, we call for the immediate removal of the chief executive of Sterling Bank, Mr. Abubakar Suleiman, with his management, whose actions have clearly shown their hostility and hatred for the Christian faith. You know they say, what you will not like people to do to you, don't do it to others. You understand? If the advertisement was the other way around, I mean, I'm talking about the Muslim, by now they would have teared this, this country into pieces. We understand the way they will react. You understand? Nigerian Christians should not wait for his removal before taking action against that bank. They should massively withdraw their money from, the, from that bank because that message was a planned one against Christians on Easter. No bank can try such 
insult on Muslims. This guy alone with all those responsible for that kind of advertisement should resign immediately. It was a deliberate act to test and insult the sensibility of Christians. If this was an advert on Muhammad, the country would be on fire right now. Where is the Murik professor? This type of thing gives him joy. But not to worry. His apology is not even worth you know, the paper it is written on. He did not only insult Christians, but also made a mockery of Jesus Christ. That is hate speech and blasphemy. He must go. We will not accept such you know, uh, evil acts. His forgiveness is in the hands of God, not man. An apology letter has been tendered now by the banks to all customers or what else do can want to achieve by this ungodly fight. God also accepts forgiveness for sin when the sinner genuinely repents through confession. That was very bad, wrong, and insensitive statement to have come from an organization like Sterling Bank that has customers across the religions in Nigeria and other parts of the world. We have so much problems and issues in this country that things like this should not be our problem now. You can always practice your belief without necessarily disrespecting others' belief. For the interest, uh, I think, for the interest of the bank and the business, I think they can do something about such insensitive executive. Okay? Can after UN is one of the useless organizations in the world. Really. What kind of sick idiot are yeah, leading can? Is Jesus now an idol that cannot fight for himself? I thought they always preach, leave it to God. The battle is of the Lord Jesus. Why don't they practice what they preach? Allow Jesus to fight his fight, he said. So guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. What's your take? Let's hear from you. Thank you very much. Bye for now.